right, so it was pointed out that I have not provided an update in a while, and I have. Um, part of that has been due to the fact that I did sort of settle everything, and so um, I've been busy using the room along with work, etc. Um, so here's where we're at right now. There's still some cleanup to do at the back of the room, which is going to be kind of a longer project. We need to get rid of some of this stuff, donate some stuff, um, figure out where to put it, that type of thing. So, but the front of the room is put together. Um, you know, I've got a couple boxes of trash there, but all the speakers are installed. All of the drywall work is done. The lighting at the front of the room is installed. I did finally get the lighting for the back of the room. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of these DVDs here now that pretty much everything is um, digitized on my server. Um, but uh, yeah, I did decide and I do like um, the sub, more of a near field configuration. Um, I had it up here in the corner when I first purchased it, um, but it's been moved back here. I'm going to do a write up on this. I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, you know, someday down the road, I may add another one just for some overhead, but for the volumes I typically listen at, which is closer to like 15 decibels below reference, um, according to, you know, everything calibrated. So my Accio receiver has the, the setup where you can set your volume relative to reference or absolute. So it goes up to like 80 or 100 in absolute. And, uh, and relative to reference, it goes from like minus 80 to zero or to plus 10 or something like that. I have it set up as reference. So I can get a rough feel for, according to the calibration, how close um, I am to reference. And I listen about... 15 and maybe even 20 decibels below reference um, for most movies unless I've set aside a special time to watch, you know, an action blockbuster and I really do want to rock uh, the system. But otherwise, I just, you know, it's I don't need to listen that loud all the time. So I don't know if you can tell, but I did settle on the sharp. Um, the primary reason for that was after the Samsung came and um, I mentioned in a thread that it, it buzzed. I could hear it from you know, 15 plus feet away is just a, 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 a inignorable, if that's a word, um, buzzing sound. And I obviously could have um, exchanged that unit for another one and kind of rolled the dice. But it seemed from some preliminary research that um, it's just something that tends to still happen with, especially the Samsung plasmas. It's been an issue with the last two to three model years. People have been complaining on AVS um, kind of nonstop about it. Um, and it's not something they fixed. Apparently it didn't, it used to be a large problem a couple of years ago, but more recently it has been. Um, so this is the setup, I'm very happy with it. Ultimately, the other, you know, the reason why I kept the Sharp is it appears at the end of the day that the issue that I was having with the soap opera effect is a combination of the Apple TV and the TV configuration. Um, so there's something that's the Apple TV is sending misflagged video or you know all that stuff that back in the dvd heydays there were always these tests that like it seemed like 99 percent of blu-ray or uh, dvd players would would fail you know half these tests because they weren't responding to incorrect flag data or they would do all these different things i'm guessing that's kind of what's going on here is that it's not handling the flag correctly it's not doing three two pull down correctly or something to that effect um and it's causing that problem. I can, the, the modes where, so if you guys remember what I ended up describing was in only in the modes where it's accepting um, like PC or game input. So it's doing no processing to avoid lag. Like it's literally completely disabled. Um, the picture, there's no soap opera effect. It looks great. And the picture I've now calibrated a basic calibration with uh, Avia guide to home theater. I just, I still have on DVD. Um, and it looks fantastic. I'm thrilled with the color saturation, the clarity, the sharpness, um, the black levels, everything else. And I can watch anything on the Apple TV in on the game mode, um, and it looks fantastic. And in fact, I've pretty much at this point just stayed with that input. I did go ahead and calibrate the movie input as well, so I can use that for watching high-def content on um, cable or on Blu-ray. Um, but I really haven't been using it much. So... Um, I kind of just leave it on the input that's calibrated. I like the color um, temperature that I achieved there, whereas um, uh, even on the movie mode, I feel like the color temperature is a little too warm, and there are options where you can just change like 
you know, low, medium, high, or low, medium, low, low medium, et cetera. Uh, there's like six different color temperatures, but I actually just, I feel like it's more natural um, on that game mode, um, which has no processing turned on by default. And that's where I've got it calibrated and that's kind of where I like it. So I'm happy with the display. I was more than happy with this surround sound system to start with. The speakers um, are excellent. I can't believe um, what my impression of these speakers are in comparison to sort of the old days of, of Klipsch where I used to definitely have the impression that they were, you know, horribly, unlistenably bright. I don't know whether my um, tastes have changed or if my hearing is not as sensitive at higher frequencies as it might have been, say, 10 years ago, um, or if Klipsch has, you know, significant enough redesigns that it actually doesn't sound the same as what it used to. But, um, you know, I'm definitely very pleased. The speakers are fantastic for both uh, home theater and uh, for music. Um, there's the front left and right with the grills off. Um, the surround sound speakers, I did. Sorry, the camera's, my camera hand is kind of busy right now, but there we go. Um, I did go with the dedicated surround speakers, and I'm glad I did. It just, to me, you know, the sound definitely sounds like it's coming from, you know, behind and, 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 to the side of me and um it's it's locatable enough it's directional enough but it's certainly not laser focused directional and you know it's a matter of preference i guess but i i like it like that so i'm very happy with the surrounds as well they're actually quite large um i think it's only uh i'm not sure if it's a five and a quarter or a four inch driver um and then with the whole but because the horn opening is so large you know it makes for a very large speaker so that's quite a tall speaker they're probably 16 inches tall i'm guessing uh just a guess um so yeah they're pretty there's a full-size movie poster with the speaker above it so um yeah I, i'm i'm very happy so it was kind of a, a challenge to get all the you know the physical work uh for the room done to get it set up and have everything how i wanted um and then kind of the the trials and tribulations that you guys saw when the tv's um, originally had the, the viewing mode issue and not being happy with the soap opera effect on the Sharp and then the Samsung that I only had for about four hours because uh, it was um, unusable with the buzzing. Um, but I'm very happy at this point, more than happy with the setup. This was kind of my goal was to have um, more of a family room, style of a room, um, and not so much a dedicated home theater. I can sit down here watch the television with, you know, watch football games with the lights on. It looks awesome. Um, and I don't have to have uh, the lights completely turned off and sit in pitch blackness. I've got a coffee table to set, you know, chips and drinks on. And when, you know, when I'm entertaining and have people over to watch the game, um, you know, there's there's a room to sit in. It's, it's kind of like a family room, a second family room. And the, the kids have actually spent time down here um, that they wouldn't have in the past because they didn't want to sit in the pitch black. Um, I guess they're like their mother and they tend to want to multitask when they're watching television and stuff. But um, it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was a lot of work. I haven't got to use it as much as I would have liked to at this point. Um, but it's here for, you know, it's kind of a low maintenance system that'll be here when I have free time to watch some movies and I can spend time down here with my family watching television. I did get the whole house DVR installed as well. So now, you know, if my wife and I want to watch something, um, that we recorded on television, we can come down here and do that down here as well. So it's a great system overall. It's going to get a lot more use than the old one. I'm, I'm really happy with it. So thanks for following all the rambling videos. Um, and uh, thanks for your continued interest and support when things weren't, uh, when I wasn't happy with how things were going. So um, anyway, there it is. Let me know if you have any questions.